Well, there's a number four. There's got to be a number three, and we found it. It's on the back side of the ridge. And it's had cattle grazing in it. But here's the Ash Peak number, number three decline. It goes back a ways. Let's head on in. Down the number three decline, and it goes. Looks like quite a ways. It's been uh, entirely straight, minimal ground control requirements. Drove it in this good andesite, so we're 300 feet in. Drove it in this pretty good material. You okay? Yeah, fine. Kind of levels out here. <laughs> and this section sees standing water occasionally. Got a Draw point. Oh, no, oh, that's your problem. Dead skunk. I thought they smelled bad when they were alive. Okay, that's enough. I'm good. Uh, got another draw point here and another one there. And that's, that's fully caved up ahead. So I crossed the dead skunk for nothing. It smells worse on this side, too. It does. That was a... <laughs> That was a calculated risk, but I am bad at math. <laughs> that's uh, that's got to be it for the number three decline. So, I said, where there's a number four, there's got to be a number three. Well, where there's a number three, there's also got to be a number two. So we're just below the shamrock shaft. And, uh, came to what the Arizona Geological Survey tells me is the number two decline. And what do you know? It looks like they dumped all their core down here. This might cut the shaft. We'll see. So we uh, come to a bit of a junction here, two-way. The left, got some hanging bacon strips, and I can't really see it with the camera, but there looks like a vent tube or a fan. Use the YouTube time honored right hand rule. That's just rude. I heard it. No, yes. That's Gail squawking like a chicken. Why? Because she can. Uh, what in the holy hell? Well, this is concerning. And the fact that it's barricaded tells me quite a bit. And it says things like, this could be dangerous. Probably don't go here. Can't see how far that goes up. But, I'm going to heed that. You have a vault out here. So, I'm going to take the left hand now. So this looks like a fan. Uh, now, it's on a false floor. I'm trying to determine the extent of that false floor. I'm going to climb up this drive to the left, which does appear to go somewhere. And I can't tell what that 
is down there. Is that a fan? By golly, that's a fan. Well, that's a lot of money sitting there. Manway goes down quite a ways. So this is continuing up towards uh, up on the left side. We've got continuing down on the on down this left hand drift. There's, there's something up there, maybe an air receiver tank. That's some suspect ground up ahead. Yeah, that's most assuredly a receiver tank. And there's something beyond it. Well, that's, oh, okay. So I did some research and the, the shaft adjacent to the shamrock is called the Hardy. And this is the exact same utility arrangement that ran down the Hardy. Gail thought she saw daylight down that opposite drift. So I think 10 gets you 20. Hardy. Is right here. Well. That's certainly something. kill all my lights. Okay. I don't quite have daylight, but I think that's the service shaft. I've successfully crossed the false floor vent rays with that Joy fan. It's a, what's the serial? It's a Joy, 15 horsepower Joy Axie Vane fan. That's, that just makes me wonder if this is backfilled. There's a pillar there. Gail said she could see daylight over through here, which is exciting, to say the least. And I know why she saw daylight. We're in the shamrock shaft, boys and girls. Probably about the 200 foot level. I do believe we found ourselves a shaft station. Let's see what kind of shape the main way is in. They don't have enough uh, enough landings. The timbering here of the main way is in good shape. I'll risk it. Quite a bit of air coming from the surface. It's 975 feet to the bottom. Minus whatever level we're at, of course. And bell sheet. So that number two decline was apparently the uh, escape way. It's a pretty cool feeling. That's uh, looking back towards the portal. And we're looking down the main way of the Shamrock. It looks like a good 20 feet to the, the next landing. And there's a expanded metal grate over the ladder way at the landing. They really should have offset it and then got the airline running adjacent screen to protect the manway from material falling off the skip. That's that's wise. 
Uh, actually, that might be air in the manway and or water in the manway, and this is probably air. But I think uh, that's about all there is to see here safely without bypassing that barricade, which I really have no desire to do, or going down going down the shaft, which I'd like to, but not today. Maybe later. I'll be back. That's been the Ash Peak Mine coming on out of the number two portal. I don't know if there's a number one portal or uh, it's the old high school numbered pigs prank, but I think I'm gonna call it it for the day. It's been a real productive one. And this is a pretty great mine. Might be back. Anyways, thanks for watching y'all. Adios.